Hi, we're Jakes and Bev Blackwell, and we're missionaries in Jamaica. Jakes and I have been married for almost 31 years, and we have five children, one biological son, and four that we've adopted. Three of our children live in the U.S. and work there, and two of them are living with us here in Jamaica. We have been in Jamaica. Our ministry is called Outreach Jamaica, and uh, we have been working in Jamaica permanently since 1994. We'd like to take a little time to show you some of the things that we're involved with here in Jamaica. So here we go. When we moved to Jamaica in 1994, we decided to start foster caring children. Because of the great need for foster parents here, we felt led to start the Agape Harbor Children's Home. Since 2000, we've cared for over 33 children here, some for short term and some for long term care. We live on site in an apartment downstairs and the children's home is in the upstairs section. The children are placed with us through the government. Some will become eligible to be adopted, but most will not, and will either be placed with family members or remain in the foster care system until they age out at 18 years old. At present, we have three children living with us, a sibling set which have been with us for over 10 years. We foster children of various ages from birth up to 18 years old. We receive no funding from the government in helping to care for the children. We become financially responsible for all aspects of their care, from food and clothing to their schooling and books and medical and dental needs. We are blessed with indoor plumbing at our house, but there's no public water supply. We collect water from the roof of our buildings and then store it in the cistern and pump it up to the air tanks on the roof as needed. They're gravity fed into the house and we can use this water for laundry and bathing, for the toilets, but we have to buy our potable drinking water. When most people think of Jamaica, they picture the warm, clear water with white sandy beaches and other touristy things. We live and minister in the village of Beechertown. Beechertown is a rural com community located about three miles from the resort town of Ocho Rios. There are approximately 800 people living in the community. Most are either farmers or work in the tourism industry. For those fortunate enough to have jobs, the medium income for most people here is about $50 US per week. Jakes is the full-time minister of the Beechertown Church of Christ. He is also a marriage officer and a justice of the peace. Right now we have an active membership of about 50 people and it is one of four churches located here in Beechertown. Jakes and I both are actively involved in planning events such as crusades, revivals, youth retreats, vacation Bible schools, and other community outreach events. Besides preaching and ministering full-time here in Beechertown, Jakes is also asked to free preach frequently at other churches, as several of our rural area churches are without a minister. He is also asked to speak at special services or crusades and other special events at other churches. Our congregation in Beechertown is the only one in the community or surrounding communities who have vacation Bible school. We host one week of vacation Bible school every July. Our attendance runs between 60 and 120 children daily. We enjoy hosting volunteer teams to help us when possible. The children enjoy the interaction with the uh, visitors as well. We also frequently help our sister churches by hosting VBSs when they ask us to. Vacation Bible School also helps us to introduce our congregation to new families in our community. Over the years we felt a calling to work with young people. We feel like it's vital for our young people to have fellowship with the youth from other churches across the island. So we sponsor and fund a variety of youth activities, including retreats, camps, and youth conventions. We also have youth outreach events here in our community. These activities allow us to spend time with our young people 
building relationships while teaching and training in a more relaxed environment. We are also involved with having three weeks of summer camp in July and August, youth retreat each November, and youth convention in February, along with various other events that we plan throughout the year. Jesus told his disciples in John chapter 9, verse 4, As long as it is day, we must keep doing the work of the one who has sent me. The night is coming when no one can work. Please continue to pray with us as we do the work here the Father has called us to do.